It's funny Brilliant. how much more yeah. talkative Min is now. He's got Lies. a big chip stack, isn't he? He's been so quiet, and now he's very relaxed. He's very happy. It's amazing what a wide range of subjects run through oh. your head when you've got the chip oh, lead, isn't it? <laughs> it's great. It's great about poker. A nice move from Maud. Oh, so much. Uh-oh. Is she going to get looked up here? She may just have enough to take Min off this. He doesn't need to something. take it on, or does he? Don't put it in on. Well, I oh, guess well. this is where we find out whether he has more. a bit of gambling in him, but there's lots of hands he could probably pitch him all doing that with his beating. Cool. That's a that's a percentage play. Yeah. He knows it's ahead of the range, yeah. and uh, he's right. I, I mean, we've seen people deliberating with King Jack yeah. and King Tan. Yeah. And yeah. I think A6 is yeah. fine. You, if you find out you're dominated, King you're not six. dead. You've got chips anyway. I think you're right. That's that's a. That's a percentage play for sure. Patel ahead, Mulder all in, but flop. Turn and river, of course, the key components. Four. And Mulder needs to hit her pair. Come on, Dina. Yeah, and of course that just brings more outs actually for Min to secure this. Happen. Yeah, I think so. Come on, Dina. <laughs> yeah, any queen, any nine. Yeah, the club's no use to anyone here. Well, that's that. It is. Thanks, Maud. Former Thank Dutch you. Open yeah. champion, Maud Mulder. Thank you. Thank you. Well played. Good luck. She has made a good yeah. claim here. Yeah, I think Min's right. It ha has been well played. It's, um, it right. just got short stacked enough that she wasn't able to make moves. Me and D boy. Good luck, mate. And they're head up. Yeah, well, if you look at the stats well, between, how do you handicap this, Matt? Well, I quite fancy Min right now, <laughs> mostly based upon the number of chips sitting in front of him. But it's a fantastic advert that says, you know, tight, aggressive versus loose and crazy, and they're both down to the last two. Yeah, I mean, besides the fact that Min has twice as many chips, uh, very similar stats, bet frequency, and uh, of course, Brandon has never been low. He's sort of had chips all night long. Absolutely, and then again, but we look at the bet frequency, we know how many times Brandon does that with nothing versus how many times Min All does right. it with nothing. Yes. And it'll be interesting to see how their game changes heads up. Ace 10, here it comes, the bogey hand of the game. And you know, uh, <laughs> Brandon's one of those guys. <laughs> it doesn't take him much for to draw his line in the sand. You know, all right, then, he says. That's a pretty poor hand, though, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. There's not a lot that that's going to be uh, beating. You're, you're hoping to connect on the flop. You can't think that this is going to be good enough right now. His face doesn't look like the face of a man loving the action. I wonder if Brandon could play stop and go here. There's no ace there. If he launches, he gets it. Yeah, and there's 220 in the pot. Oh, yeah. He's got one move. God! Love it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's wow. called him. <laughs> You got it in? I got no. it. Absolutely no. Oh. You know, that that was... Uh, Min has just had enough. Uh, uh, maybe Min just thought, I know what's going to happen here. You're going to just fire at this because you're first to act. He was on to it. It's almost like he yeah, waited he for it. He yeah. called so quickly. It's, it yeah, wasn't a surprise to him. Yeah, it's been funny. He covered him like a blanket. Mm -hmm. And this is it for Brandon Block unless the three or queen comes... Min's going through. What a call that was. That's an incredible turnaround, isn't it? But you think, like, you know, back when we were four-handed and Min was hanging on, and here he is. One cut to go. He's done it. Ace place. Fantastic. Cheers, Brian. Thanks, my lucky. Enjoyed that. What a journey. Nice <laughs> go from Brandon Black. He's played a great tournament. Well, it's never easy, but what a run for you, Min Patel. Congratulations. Uh, you really went low and had to grind your way back. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the, in the middle of the stage, I think, third and fourth levels, 30,000 chips, I think, and everyone was sitting around with 150, 200, but um, part of my time, I actually was thinking a couple of options to shove it, but um, luckily I waited, picked the right moments and got away with it, I think. Brandon, uh, commiserations, runner-up spot, but I'll tell you, I mean, if there was an extra prize given for enjoying the game, I mean, you just seemed to love it out there. I had a, I had a really good time today, Jesse, mate. It was really, really good. I mean, everyone was playing, and, uh, you know, the game's lost, lasted so long, there were so many chips out all the time, it was just so even, and then... Uh, you know, I did play a few silly hands, but I did. You were flying did, uh, at the start. Oh, unbelievable at the start. I just thought, this is this is it. This is going to be the one. And then, obviously, you know, you have to, you do have to be patient. I mean, what? So, uh, and he, I mean, I was just sitting there thinking, 
God, he's patient. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, fair play to it. It was great. Really good enjoyed it. Well, best of luck, Min. Min Patel is through to the $576,000 prize pool. Join us next time as we start the main draw of the PartyPoker.com World Open 4. Next time, World Series of Poker Bracelet runner-up Andy Ward. When things are going well, people look around and, and say, how did he get all the chips? European Open runner-up Craig Burgess and the general himself, Luke Patton. Cool in. <laughs> There's plenty more action to come on the PartyPoker.com World Open 4.